Hi, in this video I'm going to be doing a Loom screen recorder tutorial and demo. So I'm going to show you what the pros and cons are and how to use the basic functionality. So let's get started. So real quick, Loom is a screen recording software that you can either use for free or you can uh, pay money to use the upgraded uh, membership. Now let me show you um, let me show you what that is. But real quick, it can be used for P Windows, Mac, uh, Chrome extension, and you know it, it's very functional. So you know what you want to do is you want to sign up for the free account. And I've already I've already uh, signed up how to you know for the free account. So I'm just going to take you to the desktop version. All right. So that's right here. Now, real quick, you might be asking me why am I using the desktop version? And it's because it's the most powerful one. I've tried the Chrome extension. I've I've tried the uh, mobile app, and it, it's just not as strong as the Loom uh, desktop, the the PC version. Whether you, I mean, I, I can't really say that for Mac because I haven't used it yet. But for Windows, at least, the PC version is a lot stronger. So if you're going to be using the software full time, I highly recommend you know using the um, Loom PC version. It's kind of a pain in the neck to install but I think it's worth it in the end all right so before you do that you want to do a mic check and make sure that your microphone is working and then you want to make sure that uh, in my case if you have a webcam you can go ahead and use that but I, I want to deactivate that all right so make sure all your settings is correct and then you can also do full screen or you can do uh, windows you can do custom sizes I, I'm just gonna go full screen for this one right here all right so then they even show you your internet speed and they also t show you, um, you know, what's the resolution I'm gonna do 10 and 1080p all right so once you've installed the software you just click on the icon and you will get this interface and you just click on start recording for those of you who want to record all right so from here you wait for it to load. Okay, it's gonna do a countdown, and it's gonna give you a beep. All right, and then from there you just say whatever you want to say. Uh, you can do like, you know, presentations like, oh, you know, this is Loom, whatever, whatever, and do your screencasting. And then you know, once you're done with that, then you can just simply stop. Okay. Now from here, they're gonna process this. And I'm going to show you the features that I really, I truly value about the Loom software. Um, right off the bat, they have this this uh, feature called Review Transcript, and it is amazing. <laughs> like, I know this is a screen capture or screen recording software, but their transcript is really, really powerful, right? And here it is, and it's going to give you a beep and. Then from here, there, you just say whatever you want to say. All right, it records uh, my transcript really, really well. All right? That's one thing that's very powerful uh, that I've noticed right off the bat. And I've tested a lot of different softwares that you know claim to have transcription features using AI, using whatever. Um, this one and there's another one, uh, Otter AI, that's really good, and I suggest uh, using either one. But this this one's amazing. It, it's a lot quicker. All right, so then you can also, you know, it has filler words detected. You can also remove it. All right. So it's do not do not remove by default. Then you have text and audio beta and 10 text, text only. All right, so you can remove the <coughs> filler words. Um, you can do video preferences. Now, let me just show you that what that is real quick. You can allow comments. Uh, Comment e email notification, record and reply, emoji reactions, animated thumbnails and GIFs. A lot of this stuff, if you're doing um, YouTube videos, it's not going to matter. But the reason why I have to tell you this is because it's it was also geared towards like remote work and meetings and stuff like that. So that's why these functionalities are here, if you're wondering. All right? I, I don't happen to use that, but I just wanted to go over it real quick and to show you what, what it has to offer. Now, here's the basic uh, video editing functionality. You can go ahead and um, make basic video edits. So you can do things like trim, 
All right, so let's say you don't, uh, uh, let's do split real quick. Let's say you don't like, you, you wanna split this section and this section separately, you go ahead and click split. All right, and now if you wanna delete something, uh, let me just show you real quick the difference between what is, uh, let me go undo. Let me show you the difference between what is actually um, active and what's not. So if you wanna trim something, you can do it, you can delete something, you can do it like this and drag this uh, bar and whatever is kind of uh, not deleted is going to be kind of uh, highlighted right here and whatever's grayed out is the de deleted portion so I already showed you what split and trim is I'm going to show you how to do delete so let's say you want to delete this section right here it it's kind of a pain in the neck you can't just highlight it and delete it like most um, most video editors what you have to do is you have to go over here and you have to split Okay, and then from here you just drag this and then gray this area out. So now this, oops, this area and this area is active and this area is um, deleted portion. So that's how you do, you delete something. And of course if you make a mistake you can do undo. And if you make a lot of mistake and you want to go back to re original, you can always click on revert to original and it will just give you the raw, oops, it give you the raw audio. Now once you're done with everything here, you can go ahead and save your changes. And you that that would be it for the uh, video video editing. Let me let me just make one edit. Let me just see if I can delete this section here. Let me drag this over here. Save changes. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so once you save changes, you can you can share your your link. All right, you can do a social embed. You can do a whole bunch of things. Uh, you can even download it. All right, so they will allow you to to download it. And uh, one thing, uh, let, me, let me show you the positive real quick when it comes down to Loom. Uh, number one is a very good clean UI and, and it's very easy to use. Now they have a lot of functionality, so it's not like super basic, but at the same time, um, you know, it, it's easy enough. So it's basic enough for someone to pick up and and figure it out within maybe ha 30 minutes tops. Uh, the other thing is it can be used on multiple platforms, which is kind of rare. So you know normally you have to pick something for Windows and Mac people have to pick something for Mac and uh, Android or Chromebooks have to pick something for their their ecosystem. But this one actually hits on everything: uh, Windows, Mac, Chrome, and even mobile applications. Now the downside to that is it's not all equal. Uh, obviously, so I mean, I just want to point that out. The Chrome extension is kind of a weak sauce, uh, as I mentioned earlier, but the PC version is the strongest one. That's why I highly recommend you use it. Um, what else? The free membership. Oh yeah, let me talk about that real quick. The free membership is is nice. Uh, they don't have any kind of like you know nagging upgrade right now to get this or that. Hurry up, miss. You know you're missing out. They don't. They don't push you to upgrade. They let you use the free account, you know, casually. There's no. There's no like uh, really heavy push to upgrade to their paid membership. And on top of that, their free account is actually it's it's free. It's nice, nice free. What I like to call it because there's a lot of fake free out there where you just basically sign up and you can maybe demo it for two seconds and that's about it. This one you can actually use it a good bit. Um, I believe you can use it for five minutes. You can create a, f a five minute video. And you can create 25 videos per uh, month. That that's pretty generous. That is that is that is quite generous. So the other thing is the video editor is a little basic. That, that, that's kind of like the downside. And the other thing that I <coughs> excuse me, the other thing I don't really like is that the the um, installation process is a bit confusing. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. I've done a lot of installation processes for screen capture or screen recording software before. This one was a bit more, a little bit more involved. Um, but once once you got it installed, it's good to go. All right. So those that's the basic uh, review of Loom and the basic tutorial of how to do basic video editing, how to do basic screen recording, and. <clears throat> Uh, the pros and cons of of whether or not Loom is is a good software to use. All in all, if you are free, if you're starting out, um, and you want to like start your YouTube channel, or you know you're 
you have a workplace and you don't want to do a lot of meetings and stuff like that, then th this might be good for you. Now, if you want to do a YouTube video and you want to do like longer form content, that's 10, 20 minutes or uh, longer, then you, you can still use it, but you're going to have to do a little bit more video editing if you're going to use a free account only. So what I mean by that is you would have to record two five minute videos and then you know kind of uh, splice it together in the video editing process. So it's not as convenient, uh, it's not as streamlined, but it, it's still free. Uh, you, I, mean, I can't really complain much much about that. So that, that might be the only downside, that might be the workaround to it. So you know, if you're looking for a, a decent free uh, screen capturing device that's pretty much full featured and that doesn't like nag you to upgrade, then I highly recommend you use Loom. Now this is I'm not sponsored by them. They didn't pay me. I I I wish I was sponsored, <laughs> but I'm not. Uh, this is just a, a an amazing software. I just wanted to share with everyone here for those of you who are looking for a uh, a screen recording uh, software because there's lots of them out there that 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 charge you know a bit high for you know basically a, a basic software. I, I feel All right, and I, I I don't I want you to save your money. I don't want you to you know spend. Uh, money on need the software if you don't have to so this is my recommendation for those of you who are looking for uh, free screen recording that that's easy to use and has uh, that's, that's pretty full featured all right so if this video was helpful uh, could you please hit the like button thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video